How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Spider and in this video we're going to be breaking down ASL uh, week number one going up against Sharpie uh, and the team that I do not know. Let me look it up because every time I'm unprepared for these uh, and it ends up uh, kind of being a silly situation. So you know what? That's okay. We're one take Jake over here. Um, <clears throat> let's see Sharpie. What's your team? What's your team? So, wait, is that him? Savannah Sharpedoes. Yeah, there it is. So, uh, since I don't have a layout, I haven't made one yet. I don't know if I will, but I'm um, just going to read down his team uh, along with mine. So, we got Palafin, obviously Hero, you know, Palafin, Deoxys Speed, Conkolder, uh, Galarian Slowbro, Sylveon, Fortress, Flygon, Sceptile, Spiritomb, Tauros, Paldea Fire, and Vulpix. A lot of Pokemon there. Um, the the ter Terrastalizers, the Terra Captains. Are going to be Flygon with Terra Dragon Steel and Fire, Sceptile with Terra Grass, Water and Dark, and Vulpix, Alolan Vulpix, uh, with Terra Ice, Dark and Poison. So those are his Terra Captains in his draft. We're going to go through mine real quick. Uh, we have Iron Boulder, Annihilate Superior, Mandibuzz, Salazzle, Sandy Shocks, Kazooian Gudra, Araquanid, Cragonal, Wigglytuff, Swallet. Uh, our Terra Captains are Superior with Grass, Fire, and Stellar. As well as a Raquanid with uh, water, electric, and poison. So that is the situation we are dealing with. Um, let's get right into the team. Of course, I messed this up again. Um, <clears throat> so looking at my opponent's team, uh, there really is not much hazard removal. If you look at it, he's got default Conkeller, which is annoying. Um, and he's got Rapid Spin Fortress. But besides that, uh, I feel like my ability to hazard stack is going to be important, especially... Uh, with my spin blocker annihilate there's not much fortress can do to win annihilate so uh, that's helpful um, also um, you know sticky webs are really good against this team you know looking at being able to slow down deox deoxys is going to be huge palafin for sure especially if it's like a choice guard variant which i wouldn't be surprised to see um uh not not flag on because it's levitate i mean i guess taros uh, would be helpful septile if he's an offensive Sylveon, that would be really big if I could slow that down for a rack when to outspeed it. Um, and then, of course, Spike Stack is really good against this team. I mean, everything on his team is grounded except for the Flygon. So uh, slowing down anything and damaging anything with Spikes is just going to be really a good idea, I think. Uh, and besides that, you know, that's kind of our plan. So um, let's actually talk about Iron Boulder first because this ended up... Um, I never nicknamed my Pokemon. That's crazy. Oh, well. We'll, we'll figure out nicknames for him uh, later on, <laughs> whatever. Um, so we're going to talk about Iron Boulder first. Oh, by the way, shout out to BGC, um, who's kind of someone I've been talking to a lot about this battle and WB, WPF. I forgot to give him a shout out in the WPF video, uh, but for sure, I mean, definitely help me out with this stuff, uh, probably more, because I was really, obviously with week one, like you want to be as prepared as possible. You want, you're excited to use your new team. Uh, I was very excited to use this team um, for sure, and he gave me several different pointers for for using this, uh, and this is one of them I think. Uh, well, we kind of talked about this one, so we are uh, booster speed, uh, iron well, iron boulder booster energy, and we're boosting our speed stat here uh, with the um, with the sword stance, mighty cleaves, and headbutt and taunt. This is actually a Pokemon that gets taunt, and I I, I didn't know it's 368 speed. Uh, which is definitely for something. Um, <laughs> I don't know. 368. I think that just outspeeds like a Deoxys that's trying to speed creep something. Um, that's probably what it's for because there's nothing else. His speed tiers are kind of crap. If I'm, I mean, I don't mean that offensively, but it's just true. Like he's got 180 Deoxys and then 120 Sceptile, which, but Sceptile's not a Pokemon you're going to see that often. And then 100 with Palafin and, and, uh, and Flygon, and everything else is slower. And I guess Taros is also 100. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I, maybe he runs a speedy Deoxys, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't ever battled this guy, so I would not know. Uh, but if we get the taunt off immediately, we can stop his hatches because I have no removal on, on this team, on the team I'm bringing this week. So it's really important to not let the hazards go up as well as putting the hazards up and having them stay there. Um, so, you know, if we can get the taunt off, yeah, that would be huge. Sword Stance, Mighty Cleave, Zen Headbutt, Self-Explanatory. If we get a Sword Stance off, great. If not, who cares? We're going to be leading this Pokemon. Uh, if he leads Fortress, it is what it is. I just need to make sure that that Deoxys isn't able to spike stack on me. Um, and so, yeah, 
Next up, I'm actually going to talk about the Sandy Shocks. This is the Pokemon I originally wanted to lead with, but it it doesn't outspeed. And it can't. It, first of all, it probably won't outspeed Deoxys even at plus one. Well, it, it might, but again, it's not guaranteed. And second of all, it doesn't get taunt, so I'm not even going to be able to st keep the spikes on the off the field anyway. Best I can do is just spike stack with him, uh, which is great, but. Uh, then I just, you know, he can bring in Fortress, Rabbit Spin away. It forces my Annihilate, then he can predict that and do stuff with it. So, um, obviously I can Discharge, but if he's a bulky Deoxys, it doesn't even do a KO. So he'll get a guaranteed two, maybe even three spikes up, which which would just be annoying. Um, but, you know, this Pokemon is not going to be a lead, but it's going to be something to have uh, in the game that's going to be kind of helpful. So, um, we are 172 speed, uh, 120 special attack, and 216 HP. Uh, this will allow, again, booster speed as well as the HP, I think, is kind of perfect for, for certain things. Uh, once I get an Iron Defense off, most Flygons will not be able to Earthquake me uh, and 2 KO me uh, because the Iron Defense. I figured Shuckleberry would be decent, but if he has Choice Scarf, then he's just going to outspeed me. Um, and then he can burn through the Shucka and then hit me really hard the next turn. Um, so the Flygon is really the only thing that wants to switch in and, and deal with Discharges because obviously I can get a Discharge paralysis on a lot of things uh maybe conkholder appreciates that if it's like av with guts but um you know it's still nice being able to potentially get free turns with the paralysis um and yeah as long as we get the terra you know, or is <laughs> terra as long as we get the booster energy speed um that's gonna be really helpful we will always outspeed a flygon um Wait, no, we won't. But Flygon's probably not going to be max speed it's scarfed. It's probably going to have enough speed for something else. Um, but yeah, Iron Defense Body Press is just so that we can hit that Flygon and kind of annoy it uh, in ways. Uh, and because, you know, Dragon Dance Flygon is a threat for sure. So especially if it's Terra Fire, I think that could be really annoying. So um, yeah, we don't want to deal with that. We don't want to have to f switch out basically with anything. So. Sandy Shocks is obviously one of those. Next up is Annihilate. I want to talk about that next. 248 HP, uh, 168 attack with an adamant nature, and 92 speed. The speed is just to, uh, it's just speed creeping things like if Taros runs no speed, if Palafin runs no speed, if Flagon runs no speed. Those three Pokemon, since they're base 100, they naturally outspeed me, but if they have no speed investment, I have this much, and this should allow me to outspeed them. Bulk up, Drain Punch. Rage Fist and Gunk Shot. Gunk Shot's just there in case he brings Sylveon in on this every time. Uh, and if it has a little bit of chip with spikes or something else, uh, we can just, you know, at the plus one, if we can knock it out with Gunk, gunk Shot, we're going to go for it. I know it's not the most accurate move, but if we get that knockout, that would be huge just for the team in general. Uh, obviously, it depends on the situation. If it's like turn two and he brings in Sylveon, I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to risk that. Uh, also, if it's fully defensive, I'm not even sure it, it dies from, from one at full health. Uh, even at plus one, because I'm not fully invested in attack. Uh, I, I went max HP instead of max attack because I felt like it's just important for this Pokemon to be able to chunk some hits uh, or live some hits, obviously. You know, with the leftovers, that's pretty helpful. I'm not really sure why I'm defiant over Vital Spirit, uh, but there aren't really many Pokemon, on, there aren't really any Pokemon on his team that, that try to put things to sleep, except for maybe a yawning Slowbro, but not too concerned about that. Um, yeah, so obviously just Annihilate, do Annihilate things. Obviously a great switch into Fortress. If he wants to Volt Switch on that switch in, that's fine because I get a Rage Fist boost. That's actually preferred. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, next up is going to be Araquanid. Really fun. We are still ter Terra Water, but this is not what I'm planning on ter terrestrializing here. Um, obviously because you saw the Superior. Sticky Web Infestation, Leech Life, and Liquidation with Heavy Duty Boots. In case we are not able to keep hazards off the field, Boots is really important just so that this thing stays healthy. 248 HP, 216 Defense, 4 Special Defense, and 40 Speed with a Bold Nature. We have a little bit of speed just so that we can outspeed um, you know, certain things like you know, Spiritomb or, uh, or Fortress or Slowbro uh, or even maybe even Conkelder. I'm not too sure. I think Conkelder, right? Conkelder's 45 speed. I think that's what it's actually for. Yeah. So Conkelder with no speed hits 126, and we are 130. So in case he puts a pinch of speed in there, we'll still be able to outspeed it. Um, and yeah, just being able to really get the sticky webs up to slow things down uh, and pivot into things like the Conkelder, um, like the you know Palafin, obviously. Um, 
if it's a choice scarf palafin if it's a choice band palafin we'll still be able to deal it if it's an offensive taros paldea blaze we'll deal with that thing pretty well i think because of water bubble uh, and its natural resistance to fighting um and you know even flygon it we can pretty much take on Flygon because Water Bubbles boost uh, liquidation so well that that's what that's what's uh, that's why it's so helpful having a Raquinet on the team because uh, not only does it chunk a lot of hits um, on both sides, but it can deal it can deal a lot of a lot of damage back. So Infestation is just there to kind of trap things if I want to get some residual damage on like an incoming Slowbro or a Sylveon or whatever it may be. Obviously, Leech Life is just there just to heal some health back. So, next up is Gudra. We got 248 HP, uh, 240 speed F, and 20 speed. Careful nature. Um, just speed creeping, you know, I think the Sylveon, or just having a little bit of speed there so that if something tries to speed creep me, it won't be able to. Um, like the Conkelder, for example. Uh, we have Knockoff, Heavy Slam, Dragon Tail, and Earthquake. Um, Obviously, Assault Vest would be a decent item here, but I feel like I just wanted the recovery with Leftover since we don't have a Wish Passer on this team. Uh, on the six that we brought, we didn't bring Wigglytuff, so then there's no Wish Passer. I want to be able to heal myself up a little bit. Gooey is really nice uh, just to take, you know, in case I take some physical hits uh, or contact moves, I should say. Um, we can have a chance to lower some speed in case, uh, you know, some boots and it's not affected by Sticky Webs or if Sticky Webs don't go up. Gooey can still help with that. Um, on a smaller scale so knock off heavy slam dragon tail earthquake just makes the most sense for his team as far as coverage uh, i'll probably be clicking knock off a lot uh, i'm going to pivot into a sylveon and be clicking knock off i'll pivot into a fortress um you know a, a septile a deoxys so a, a slow bro and i'll just be knocking off items um if we are able to get up hazards like the spikes dragon tail phasing things around is going to be beautiful um, and that is that next up Last but not least, we have Superior with the Kebia Berry, contrary. Uh, 104 speed, or sorry, 104 HP, 252 special attack, 152 speed, Timid Nature. We're outspeeding all of his base 100s with this. Uh, Terra Blast with the uh, Terra Stellar is going to be not only a higher base, I think it's a base 100 uh, power move. It's also going to be boosting our stats, um, our attack and special attack by one. Because of contrary, Leaf Storm is still Leaf Storm. Um, if if we're revenge killing something, Leaf Storm is going to be better, even though it's a little bit of a risk because it's not perfectly, it's 9% accurate. Um, it's still nice to just take that little gamble, and if it pays off, it pays off. We get the plus two instead of just the plus one, which could be huge. Uh, glare just to par paral paralyze things, paralyze things, um, and Giga Drain just to get health back. Um, but we'll probably just be clicking Terra Blast and Leaf Storm with this Pokemon. Uh, Kebia Berry is going to weaken super effective super effective poison type moves against this. I I wanted to go Yachi, but if we're able to get the sticky webs up, we don't really need Yachi for the ice punching palafin. Um, and I wanted the Kebia because it seems likely to me that Assault Vest Lobro comes to try to beat this thing and also a few other things on my team. So Kebia will at least weaken that either Shell Side Arm or Sludge Bomb, whatever it may be, uh, and that might help us... Uh, you know, run past that thing with the Terra Blast if it's weak enough. So uh, that's the plan. He doesn't really, well, he's got some speed. Or as far as priority, he does have Mach Punch, Conkeller, E-Speed, Deoxys, Jet Punch, Palafin, Sucker Punch, Spear Tomb even. So there are ways to stop the sweep, um, but this thing hopefully will put in a lot of work. That's going to be the team. Again, um, it's a little bit, you know, broken because i got to look on this for, for everything as far as the, the drafts, and I don't even have the speed tiers uh, in front of me, and I don't have the notes, so I've kind of just been rambling about certain things, and, and it's been kind of, uh, you know, not very smooth, but we'll hope to make that better uh, as the weeks go on. Again, very excited to start this league uh, because uh, I'm a big fan of my team. So anyway, with that being said, uh, I will cut the video here, and I'll see you guys in the battle. All right, here we are in the battle, going up against uh, Sharpie. Going up against Sharpie, and um, yeah, let's see what he brings here. <clears throat> um, hoping I see a few things. Hoping I don't see the fortress so that my lead is easier. Uh, but you know, we'll see uh, what happens. Um, and yeah, super excited to get this season underway. Um, I just realized I'm actually I didn't change my Terra typing for for. Uh, um, I didn't change my Terra typing for Araquanid, so that's something to keep in mind. 
I am Terra Water, which I would have been anyway. Okay, so we don't see Fortress. Wow, what the hell? This is a goofy-ass team. No Deoxys either. This is crazy. Look at this team, bro. Glad I still brought the Kebby Berry. I still, um, yeah, I'm going to lead Iron Boulder just so he can't get up in Aurora Veil, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so Notaros, no Sceptile, no Fortress, no Deoxys, no Conkelder. That's what he did not bring. So let's just lead uh, with that. And I think that's going to be our plan here. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, and we'll get right into it. Good luck. Have fun to Sharpie, of course. And uh, let's see. Okay. So um, Sharpie, Sharpie's going to lead with the uh, Palafin, which I probably should have expected. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I still will have plenty of time to get up my hazards. Uh, and because he didn't bring a rabbit spinner, I actually really should have led uh, with my sandy shocks, huh? Oh, well. Oh, the lo logo's in front of that. Okay, what if we put it, like, right here? That's probably going to be better. We'll see. Okay. Um, no, it's not better. Uh, let's just remove it <laughs> completely then. <laughs> I tried to get cute with the little... Well, I don't really have a... A format or a, a little layout at all so uh, what's this guy doing I don't know um kind of just want a sword stance looking at the team he brought that seems pretty easy uh, for me to do so um, of course but if you flip turns it's not terrible I think I just want to get damage off on something with this Pokemon it's not really here to sweep anything, so, yeah. Yeah, that's the plan there. <clears throat> okay, so he hard switches into Spirit Tomb. This is fine. He could Shadow Sneak, but it's not going to kill me. So, uh, that's going to be alright with me. Assuming he's fully defensive. Uh, at plus two, I don't knock him out, but I do a... Well, I could actually... Well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's check out this big uh, Mighty Cleave, I think. I think. Do I switch? I don't really... Uh, yeah, I don't really want to switch. Because if this thing goes for, like, Poltergeist or some shit, it's going to do a shit ton to anything. So, yep. Just going to use this move. Sucker Punch. Uh, hopefully it doesn't kill me. If he's Max Attack Adamant, it won't. If he's Banded, I actually prefer that, because I can just switch into something else. He does Sucker Punch. Okay, it doesn't... Yeah, okay. So, that did about a third. About two-thirds, I mean. Um, and he is not fully physically defensive. So, we're going to knock out Spiritune there. Which is awesome. Now he could bring in Palafin and just Jet Punch. Kind of what I'm expecting here. Yeah, so... Hmm. If he's not Flip Turn, uh, I doubt he'd be... Well... He could be Choice Scarfed here. I'm not sure exactly. I wonder if he's banded. If he's banded, how much does he... Mm. Do I really want to keep this thing around? That's the question. Uh, I, I really don't know if it's useful. I don't I don't think I really, like, need to keep it around, per se. Um, although it does hit things really hard. How much does a Raquinid take from Palafin? Uh, hero mode. I'm not going to die to two wave crashes, which is good to know. Uh, I really wish I was leftovers at this point, but I'm not. Um, you know, let's just go ahead and make him jet punch us here. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so he's going to jet punch and knock us out. Um, that's fine. I, it's very likely that he is banded. Um, but I think if we bring in a Raquinid here... We can at least guarantee that he's going to switch, and then we can get the Sticky Web up. At this point, I really wonder if Sticky Web's even needed here. Um, I, I honestly don't think it is, unless this thing is Choice Scarfed, which is you know a possibility, but it's not something I'm, I'm overly like concerned about. I think I'm just going to Liquidation here. Um, 
yeah, liquidation does a lot to like everything. Um, if he didn't have Slowbro, I think I'd just tear a water to get the most damage off, but he does have Slowbro there, so. Uh, I think we're just gonna liquidation and see what kind of damage we can do. He substitutes. Ooh, that sucks. Damn. Okay. So he's not gonna break itself. What the hell? Okay, um, that's troubling. So, hmm. Liquidation, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leech life here. He's gonna bulk up, right? Now, obviously another substitute's coming. So I wonder, wonder what happens here. So Drain Punch is probably his last move uh, on this thing. So he's not choice banded. I don't know what his item is going to be here. But he's at plus one. What's a Drain Punch doing to me at this point? Um, not that much. Uh, I figure he's just going to do it again though. I want to figure out if this is worth just, you know, dealing with this. I do have Dragon Tail on Gudra, but if it's behind a sub, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So if he gets up to plus two, does he kill a superior? I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, jet, Drain Punch plus Jet Punch is going to knock me out. So, yeah... I think I just have to kind of sack Superior at this point, unfortunately. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I can't... I can't just let it set up here. I don't really trust my ability to... Well, I can't stop it from setting up and, and drain punching me. And then eventually it gets enough health back. So, yeah, unfortunately this is kind of what we have to do here. Um... I don't really think I have to uh, Terra here. What kind of sucks is that I'm going to outspeed him, so I don't actually get any recovery back with Giga Drain. So that sucks. Um, and I want to make sure I break the sub, so I'm just going to Terra Blast, or Giga Drain. Uh, if I was Terra Electric or Raconid, I'd be fine right now. Not really, because then I wouldn't resist his moves, but still. And I'm assuming he's Drain Punch. If he's not, um, I, that's fine too. I, I wouldn't really, yeah. I wouldn't be upset to see an Ice Punch here, but I, I, I'm convinced he's going to be Drain Punch. Okay, so here comes the move. Survey says another substitute. Hmm. Maybe he thought, oh. Uh, okay, uh, that's fine. Not sure why he did that, but I don't think Glare goes through substitute, but a taunt does, so I could have taunted him if I had it, at least. Uh, yeah, there's no reason not to just Giga Drain here. Um, maybe he just wanted to see what I would do. So, uh, I like the little scales on the superior. It's kind of, kind of interesting looking. Acrobatics. Whoa, that's crazy. That is crazy. Didn't see that coming. Makes sense for Annihilate, I guess. Do I live with Sandy Shocks? No, I don't. No, I do not. Okay. So he might end up um, clicking a substitute. He might switch. I'm not entirely sure. Um, what does uh, what does Dragon Tail do? Can I see that? No, I guess not. It's not showing me the power. I don't know what damage it does relative to Earthquake. 
I'm thinking he might maybe switches here. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see a switch into what. Um, I'm not too sure. I think Earthquake makes the most sense. So I'm going to Earthquake. Because he could also just substitute, which is what he does. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Palafin's just annoying. What else could I have brought to make this not so annoying? Uh, maybe Mandibuzz. If it breaks subs with foul play. But, you know, anyway. Uh, okay, Earthquake it is. We're gonna get another bulk up here. Figures. Um, hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Gudra. So he doesn't have an item. Still not taking that much from. I mean, I. I live to acrobatics. So. Uh, we're just gonna earthquake again. Now, at this point, uh, I don't kill him with two. Uh, oh, he's gonna jet punch. Oh, okay then. Uh, we lower speed, which doesn't really matter. Um, Earthquake does very little. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think... I don't know if it kills. I could Dragon Tail to try to get him out of here. Uh, I'm just gonna Earthquake again. I'm glad he didn't uh, substitute again, because that would have been frustrating. Another Gooey. Which is beautiful. Oh boy, does it kill? Oh, so close. Shucks. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't see the point in switching. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna click uh, knock off here, in case he switches, which would be silly at this point. Jet punch goes off, which is interesting because three acrobatics may have killed me. But he went for jet punch those, those times, so, I don't know, um, at this point, not sure our avenue to, uh, victory though, to be honest. I'm thinking if I led with Sandy Shocks, it might be different. Which is probably what I should have done. Just get those spikes up, and then, you know, we'll be good to go, but, whatever. Is what it is, is what it is. So, yeah. I wonder what the Vulpix is for, or the, yeah, it is a Vulpix. Does it get a Roar Veil? Because that would make sense to try to help Palafin set up. Trying to figure out it. Um, obviously it gets Snow Warning, right? Uh, and it does get a Roar Veil, so I guess that's what it's for. Uh, and it does come out here. Now, does he outspeed me is the question. Uh, it should. One, um, wait, what am I? I'm 161. Yeah, so it's going to outspeed me here. So I guess we're going to watch a Vulpix kill a Gudra, which is kind of fun. I, I, I mean, it might not kill me, <laughs> to be honest with you. That would be kind of funny, right? Let's see, freeze dry. Free, that's free shock. That's a little bit different. Let's say it goes for Blizzard. Yeah, Blizzard doesn't kill me, so I, I don't know what he's going to do here. Um, but... I think I just heavy slam. Hope I can live this hit. He's gonna roar veil. Okay. Mm. Now I can just dragon tail if he wants to bring in Flygon. So that's fine. This does a good chunk. Big big chunk there. And again, if he wants to bring in Flygon and if he wants to substitute, we still break that with the dragon tail. I'm I'm, I'm sure of that. Um, so yeah. Um, I guess we shall see. I kind of want to stall this out. I mean, what can he really hit me with? I mean, is he is he bulky? I, I don't really know. Heavy Slam would have okay, definitely killed this thing if it was not if it was not Eevee Light. Yeah. So I think I just want to knock off and try to stall out these turns. 
And in case he switches. Okay, Moonblast. This should not do that much. Yeah, <laughs> like actually zero. It's a special attack job, which I don't care about. I knock off the... Oh, it was Light Claim. Wow. Oh, but it had the Aurora build up. That's right. Okay. Okay. So... I at this point, I think I should switch. Uh, probably into a Raquinid. Mine can freeze dry me. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by that move. Certainly not. I could Dragon Tail to kind of... So that he can't bring in Flygon freely. But then again, if he wants to bring in Flygon, that's fine with me, I think. Um, I don't think another knockoff actually knocks him out. And I don't think Guja's health really matters at this point. It's, it's already too low to do anything. He's gonna foul play me. Get the speed drop on him, which is actually kind of crazy. So I can knock him out here. Because um, he's lower speed now. And we have successfully burned... One, two, three, four turns, I think. Four out of the eight. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna just heavy slam here. I want to make sure I deal as much damage as possible to anything that wants to switch in. He still outspeeds me. That's crazy. Wow. Hmm. Okay. He's foul play um, on this thing as well. <clears throat> now, um, foul play, roar of veil, moon blast, and I guess freeze dry, right? I guess freeze dry, huh? Um, I guess we go into Sandy Shocks. Uh, with another booster energy. And, um, I guess this thing doesn't have an ice type move, I'm gonna just kill it. So, that's what we'll do there. If he brings in Flygon, I'll just have to Iron Defense. I don't want to show body press just in case. He wants to go into flag on here, that's fine. So. Damn, I wish I just freaking landed this thing. Would have been so good. Would have gotten at least two layers up. Okay, so the hail stopped. So that was the fifth turn of the Aurora Veil, so he's got three more. Hmm. Hmm. Heaven rude. What the hell is this thing? Flygon. Alright, so. We're going to Iron Defense here. And we're gonna live any one move, unless it's Earth Power, but I'm assuming with the Aurora Valley, he's trying to set up with this. Earthquakes just lets an Arachnid, so I'm not sure if that happens here. Uh, we'll see though. Hmm. There's that big move. <sighs> okay, straight for the Earthquake. Let's see how much this does. Okay, so we take another one. Um, the question is, do I actually kill him here with a body press? With two of them? Probably not. How much did that do? Hold up. 365 minus 2 of 9 out of 365. So 42.7. Yo, are you like banded? Maybe you're jolly banded? No. So he's like soft sand or something. If I get up to plus 4, can I live 2 more? Should be able to. Um, so let's go ahead and iron defense again. Barring crits, of course. Because if we get up to plus four, we can definitely two hit KO this thing. Oh, and the I forgot, I completely forgot about the Aurora Veil. I think the Aurora Veil dies this turn, right? Um, check status. Yeah. 
It's going to be gone this turn, so... Um, although... Aurora Veil... Vale, just say as the Reflect up. About 35. Okay, we definitely kill... Well, that's if he has no investment. I think we Iron Defense again. Just to guarantee we can actually kill this thing. But damage would be damage. Damage is very helpful. Hmm. No, but if we if we don't kill it here, we might die to this one. It's a roll, so let's just pray that we get we don't get critical hitted here. Um, unless he has like a special move and he goes for it here, that would be kind of clutch for him. Hmm. Earthquake. Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. Yes. Okay. So at this point, oh wow, I still don't kill him. That's crazy. Unless I get a good roll, that would be helpful. Oh, that's no, that's not what the fuck though. Damn, dude. I should have definitely put the more EVs in the defense. I just put them all into HP. Fuck. If I had 216 into defense, bro, this would, this this move would go crazy. Yeah, it would definitely kill him. Unless he's like max HP. I guess we'll see here. Kind of said he is. I could kill him if he has no HP investment. Um, which he might not. I mean, he's probably speed creeping. Annihilate, I don't know. So he'll definitely have a little bit. So I'll, I'll probably need a high roll here. Also, if I put it all into defense, I'd be taking this hit, these hits better. But such is life. Oh, we get the knockout. Okay, that's huge. So maybe he didn't have any investment. I'm not sure. Maybe he was just 252, 252. Max, max. Ambulance, please, comes out, which is the slow bro. Um, and I think I'm just... I could spike up here. If I get a spike up, that's kind of cool. I think I value the damage, though. I think I do value the damage on this. So we're going to discharge, um, which is obviously going to do more than a quad-resisted body press. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> <that's> pretty funny. <laughs> A plus six it's doing to a fizz death slow it's doing 12 10 to 12 percent okay shell side arm now we didn't get the big uh whatever you call it oops we didn't get the big paralysis that damage looks like he's physically defensive so it, i think an annihilate has to come in here and if he future sights um we might be boned we might be screwed over here um, a future site. Uh, he's going to do a hefty chunk to us. Plus two. We'll probably knock him out. Plus two. Unboosted Rage Fist. Do I take a hit from Sylveon? Um, if it's not invested, I do. So I think I'm just going to try to get off as much damage with Annihilate and then try to win with Terra Water uh, Araquanid. I think that's... Not not what I think I I thought I'd be saying. Oh, I have gunk I have gunk shot for Sylveon, which is good. Um, he might also be Rocky Helmet. I'm gonna bulk up. I'm gonna bulk up here. I wouldn't be surprised to see the uh, the future site. Zen headbutt. Oh, yes yes yes. Okay, so now Rage Fist, fist Rage Fist, Rage Fist is boosted by one. Which still will likely not kill this. My question is, to, can a it clean up here? Mayhaps not. So I really have to make sure I don't get critical hitted here. Critically hitted. I'm gonna bulk up again. And if I get crit, I get crit. Or if he uses a different move. I don't know. He misses. Yo, that's huge. I'm not sure why you bring Zen Headbutt over like a special type move. Um, maybe you wanted, he thought I'd be specially defensive, uh, which is a common set. I'll give him that, but. Whew, okay. Now, the other thing is he could be Kasibberry. Um, 
which would obviously be not ideal. Um, but a, a Rage Fist will knock you out here, for sure, uh, if you're not Kassib. And if you're Kassib, you're not Rocky Helmet. So let's go for the Rage Fist. Quick draw. Dude, are you kidding me? Does he flinch me? No, he does not. Okay. That could have been rough. Uh, so we're going to knock him out. Is he Rocky Helmet? I don't think it knocks me out at this point if he is. No regenerate is crazy. So no Rocky Helmet. And now we have a Sylveon staring us down. We've been hit twice. I, I feel like this knocks him out unless he's Scarfed. If he's Troy Scarfed, well played. Oh boy. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Let's just click Rage Fist and see what happens. Hmm. I hope you are not Troy Scarfed because that could be troublesome. You're not. Okay, so we should knock him out here. And that'll be game. Uh, Annihilate picking up the last two kills. Really fun game. Uh, did not expect to see Volpix. Did not expect to see Spiritomb. Uh, only half expected him to... Only half expected to see some of the other mons. Um, like, I, I guess, slow bro. But, but yeah. Uh, sub bulk up health and almost destroyed me. Um, but, you know, just good prep on my opponent's part. And, uh, you know, we'll take a win. Uh, week one, always good to start off right uh, in, the, in the W column. Uh, I enjoyed using the team. Uh, and, you know, we'll get the 2-0 victory for now and move on to next week. So uh, check out my other videos from my other two leagues that I'm in. Uh, I think they should go up on Friday. So WPF should go up also on Friday. And then two days ago was my UPA match. Um, so, yeah, check those out if you're interested in more uh, of these battles. And, um I think the screen will look a little bit better in those because I have like layouts for them. Uh, I might make one for this one, not sure yet. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.